Welcome to Kampala Streets. So today we are doing a community tour. We are pretending to pass through a community and yeah, let's see how it goes. Well, the door is still closed, so you can see the time. So this is how Kampala suburbs look. So what's that? You see how that this water is? Is it that? At the extreme end, you find someone is using this very water, if you can zoom from far. Okay. That lady over there is washing from this very water. Well, is it safe? It's not safe, of course. You can get blahaza, you can get so many diseases from this. But due to this bad weather, it's hot. So I don't think this is a good season for this maize. Which type of maize are we speaking about? This is PK35. PK35. Yeah. Hybrid? Yeah, it's a hybrid. As you can see, we have yams, we have cassavas, we have more maize, we have bananas. Wow. So, which country are we? This is the part of Africa, Uganda. Okay. Yeah, man. Which kind of trip is this today? We are hiking and also we are touring the Kampala suburbs. Like the downside of Kampala. All right. How many kilometers are we expecting to move tonight? Today is so far about 11 kilometers, but on a slow pace, so take your time. Hi guys. Hi. What's your name? Mutunji Dari. Welcome back from school. Thank you. Which school are you? Kasanga Primary School. Kasanga Primary School. Hi guys. Hi. Hey, which school? Kasanga Primary Welcome back. What are you trying to do? What's that? A sugar cane. Sugar cane. Yeah. Can you chew for me and I see how it's done? <laughs> oh, that's smart. All right. Hi. Hi. Okay. So yeah, here we have a little bit of livestock. We have goats, as you can see them. We have this field over here. It's been under preparation for the next season. Is it not a dry season? So, when moving around, definitely you have to be, you'll find some places like this. So, you have to be, I would say that you have to be averagely fit. When you're not fit, you can't do something like this and cross over. How will I pass there? Come on. This is nice. Just hold on somewhere and then find your way here. And it's really deep down there. Can I be able to swim? Ah, it's not. You can't be able to swim here. It's still the same water from up. Okay, by. guys, pray for me. Uh, I'm shivering to pass here. <laughs> So here, you can see we have maize over there and we have maize on my left hand side as well but all planted at the same season but the growth is different. 
you can see over there we still have hope of getting some real maize to eat a boiled one or a roasted one on the street but on this side it's you may ask yourself why the leaves not on the maize yeah we would love to know why uh, those goats sometimes when they are off their ropes they feed on the leaves as well Whoa. yeah how comes they didn't go to that side they all go because those are taller and that's why the leaves if, if you see the stems on the lower side of the maize the leaves are also eaten all right just that due to the weather conditions and and the soil fertility this maize happen to be shorter than the other ones yeah yeah i'm told those are yams drainage from all the way up is still the collection from the upper side of Kampala draining down here. You can see it clearly from here how long and how clean it is from here. And I'll tell you why it's clean. Why is it clean? Yeah it's clean because this is our local football ground. Yeah this is where all the talents of football happens and that app is called those are the pavilion where the spectators sit I, I'm, I'm, the buildings the building that is kampala university international university uh, that's the back side of it of kampala international university <laughs> right there is my nigger my friend magazine philip He's such a good soul, a good person to be around with. So yeah, this marks the end of our trip today and hope you enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, cheers and big up. Peace.